Hi there, Trinity kids and families. Welcome to this week's video uh, with a children's sermon and some songs for you to sing after that. Um, so today I've got my guitar here to help me out, um, to get us started um, today. So I'm going to try something that's been um, pretty hard, okay? So there's something on guitars um, that's kind of challenging to do. It's called a harmonic. Um, and one of my favorite songs, um, it's an oldie if you want to look it up, it's a pretty fun one. Uh, it's called Roundabout by Yes. Um, starts with some of these. And so I've always wanted to learn how to do them so that I can play that song, but it's pretty challenging. So um, I'll try to explain it a little bit, all right? So you can hear right now, that's what a guitar normally sounds like, right? I'm not touching any of the strings, just that's what it is, right? So a harmonic. I put my finger way up here, super high on the fret, or on the, on the thing. And when I do this, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to remove my finger while I do that. And what'll happen is you'll hear, not this, but you'll hear those same notes up a couple octaves, way up higher, and it'll sound totally different, okay? So here, try to listen and see if you can hear what I'm trying to do here, okay? It's pretty challenging though, okay, right. There it is. Did you hear how that was different? Here's normal. Let's see if I can get it again. Oh. Whoa! Got it. Mm, not so good. Kinda. You can hear one or two there. Very easy. Okay, let's see if I can I'll give it one more try. No. <sighs> no. Oh, man, I had it that one time. You can see it's try. It's hard. Anyway, you get the idea. It's really hard to do, to get this nice. There it is, right? Um, you can hear that. It sounds so different than normal. So it, it makes me want to ask a question. What's something maybe at school um, that's really hard to do or to learn? Just like my guitar, pretty hard to be able to do that, right? But now that I've done it a few times, I can get it a little bit easier. What's, what's something hard for you at school? And what is it that, that makes it so hard? What is it that makes it challenging? Hmm. Maybe not with the specific thing that you were just talking about, but have you ever had a time when you there was something that was really hard to learn how to do, but when you kept at it, um, you found out that you could learn how to do it, and then it became something that was kind of important to you, or maybe that you were proud of. Has that ever happened? Yeah. Like I think about maybe multiplication, right? If, if any of you have studied, or maybe you know you're about to do multiplication, you have to learn some of the basics, you know, um, all of your tables, two times three, two times four, two times five. But once you do that, then you can start to do some more, some more difficult, more complex things, right? It gives you something to learn and then becomes important in the future, right? So for me with my guitar, early on, it was really hard to learn how to play uh, when I started learning. Um, you, you know, these strings are metal, and so when you're, 
when you're pushing them down over and over again, it really hurts after a while. And you have to put your hands in some weird, weird positions, right? You can see some weird positions. Now they're, they're normal to me, but at first it was hard to figure out how to do those. And, uh, but once I did, and once I figured out that I, I could do it, and I kept at it, it became something that's really important to me. Um, and I've been able to do a really in cool things with it, right? If you've seen these videos before, you know that you get, I get to sing and, and play my guitar along with you all um, on these songs. Uh, I've been able to play my guitar and to sing um, at some weddings for some friends of mine. Um, I've been able to do lots of cool things because of this thing that was really hard at first. But then um, once I stuck with it and, and kept it up, it, it became something that was important to me way beyond just knowing how to play the instrument. Well, it made me think a little bit of, of our gospel for today. So I'm going to go ahead and read from Matthew chapter 16. We're going to read verses 21 through 28. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he had to go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders, chief priests, and legal experts, and that he had to be killed and raised on the third day. And then Peter took hold of Jesus, scolding him, and began to correct him, Lord, God forbid it. This won't happen to you. And then Jesus turned to Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stone that could make me stumble, for you are not thinking God's thoughts, but human thoughts. And then Jesus said to his disciples, All who want to come after me must say no to themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. All who want to save their lives will lose them, and all, but all who will lose their lives because of me will find them. Why would people gain the whole world but lose their lives? What will people give in exchange for their lives? For the Son of Man is about to come with the majesty of his Father and with his angels, and then he will repay each one for what that person has done. And I assure you that some standing here won't die before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Hmm. So today... Peter and Jesus were talking about some, some hard things, some challenging things. They were talking to, Jesus says that he's going to die and be raised again. Um, that's a really hard thing to hear, isn't it? Um, it kind of makes sense that Peter's reaction, right? I think I would react the same way. If one of my friends told me, if they were going to die, I would say, no, that can't be true. Do you think you would probably say the same thing? We don't want our friends to die. Peter didn't want Jesus to die. So he said, no, this can't be true. That can't be right. But Jesus told Peter that this very hard thing that was going to happen was the exact thing that needed to happen for something better God for something better. God was going to raise Jesus from the dead to proclaim that the whole, to the whole world that nothing separates us from the love of God. Not even death. Wow. Jesus would do this really hard thing and take that thing and turn it to point to the promises of God that God will always be with us to be with you and to be with me and will always love us. A cross is a hard thing. It's a place where people were sent to go and die. It's about death. We have crosses all around in our church, right? We have one that hang up front. Um, we have one that we can process in with, with, uh, with the acolytes. We have them on every one of our hymnals. Um, people wear bracelets that have a cross on them. People wear necklaces that have crosses on them. I have a cross right here, you can see, uh, tattooed onto myself. We have these crosses all around us to remind us that Jesus is with us 
in the hard things, in the difficult things, and will never leave us. God's love is there when things are not easy and when things are easy. God is there when things are hard, like learning some of our things at school, maybe like I said, multiplication, like when it's challenging to learn something on the guitar, um, when maybe we're fighting with some of our friends or our siblings, um, that can be hard. Uh, we don't get to see maybe some people that we want to see and um, maybe we won't get back, go to, could you go back to school like normal? And those are hard things. But God tells us that God will be with us always, always in those hard things and in the easy things. That is the promise of God, that the cross shows us this promise, that God will always be with us, even and especially in the hard things. Jesus doesn't want us to keep that promise to ourselves, even when it might be hard or scary to share God's love. So I want us to think about how can we share God's love in the midst of hard times? Right now, with COVID-19 and, and our pandemic, it's a hard time. How can we share God's love, even in this hard time? I think there's lots of ways that we can do that. We can give a hug to some of our family at home. Maybe we can FaceTime with some of our friends or family that live somewhere else. Maybe we can send a note to someone else. Maybe we could offer to go pick up groceries and drop that off at someone's house so they don't have to, to go and do that. Um, there are a lot of things we can do to show one another that we love each other and that God promises to always love us and to always be with us, even when it's hard. Let's pray. You can repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for this day. Thank you for being with us, even in the hard things. Help us to remember that when we see your cross, it is a sign for us that you promise to always love us and be with us. Help us to share that love and that promise that you are with us, with everyone we meet. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and sing some songs. We are going to go ahead and get started with our first song, and today our first song is going to be the Hippo Song. It's been a few weeks since we've done this one, um, so um, I thought it'd be a good time to bring it back and have a little fun um, with our Hippo Song today. Alright, sing with me. In the beginning God made the seas, and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high Above it all, God made the sky God's fingerprints are everywhere Just to show how much God cares In between, God had some fun He made us
Or do you think maybe we could go a little faster? All right, I think we can go a little faster. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, God made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much God cares. In between, God had some fun. Made a hippo that weighed a ton. Faster? All right, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, God made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much He cares. In between, God had some fun. Made a hippo that weighed a ton. you guys but it is getting warm in here we are going so fast but i think we can do it even faster let's give it a try all right in the beginning god made those seeds and the forest filled with trees god made the mountains up so high above it all god made the sky god's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much god cares in between god had some fun made a heaven that weighed a ton Wow. All right. I got one more level for us, all right? It's our supersonic. So remember, we're going to go supersonic, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Did you see it? Did you see? I said every word perfectly. I bet you can't do it with me. Can you? Let's do supersonic one more time. I want to hear every word perfectly. Ready? Ready? So fast, so fast. We uh, are going to sing uh, Psalm 25 now. Um, we've done this one a couple of times in the past as well, um, but I do think um, it's maybe been a couple of weeks, so I just want to remind us um, about this one. So um, this one is, uh, it goes, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, and you I trust, O Lord. Higher than the mountains, you can higher than the mountains, and then you get to go deeper than the seas, put your hands down, wider than the oceans, right? So we go higher, lower, wider, is your love for me, right? Is your love for me, you're with me on the mountain, you can make a mountain, and then you go, and the valley below, and you go, and the valley below, you are right here beside me, point next to you. You are right here beside me everywhere that I go. And you can spin around and whoosh, 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 everywhere that I go. All right? So uh, that's our chorus. Otherwise, we can just clap to you, oh, Lord, I lift up my soul. In you, I trust, oh, Lord. And you can do that same clapping during the verse if you want to. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. This is Psalm 25.
the actions with you this time. Higher than the mountains, deeper than the seas, wider than the ocean is your love for me. You're with me on the mountain and the valley below. Whoa, oh, you are right here beside me everywhere that I go. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, oh Lord. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, oh Lord. Higher than the mountain. Higher than the mountains, deeper than the seas, wider than the ocean is your love for me. You're with me on the mountain and the valley below. What oh you are right here beside me everywhere that I go. To you, oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, oh Lord. Repeat that. To you. Awesome job singing, everybody. Thanks for joining me this week, and I'll see you next time.